It's been six months since Hurricane Ian hit Central Florida in September, and now we're revisiting areas hit the hardest, including the one you're seeing. Our investigative reporter Katie Legrone and photographer Matthew Apthorpe went to that neighborhood near Orlando to see how families are rebuilding and found it doesn't come without challenges. In this Orla Vista community, just 15 minutes west of downtown Orlando, Good. You okay? the portrait of Hurricane Ian's devastation remains unmistakably clear. There was a too hot outside. Inside Gladys Forbes' home, kitchen cabinets are still missing. Mold is still growing. The water, oil, yeah, yeah. <gasps> the water came up to there on you? Yeah. And this 80-year-old still needs a moment <laughs> when describing I don't know. the flood. Is it hard to think back to that time? Oh, yes. Does it upset you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> but... <laughs> Forbes was among nearly 300 residents around this Hope Circle neighborhood who had to be rescued by boat hours after Hurricane Ian ripped through the inland city six months ago. They got me in the window. They had to rescue you in the window? Yes. Outside her home. Here it was the window they wake up to took her out. Water lines have yet to wash away. The floods here were, after all, we got a car right by in here. <gasps> history making for this community. Oh, wow, here. We were there. Wow, oh my gosh. You got to watch my back, Katie. To witness it all. Men, women, and children. Unfold. This year was very bad. Lieutenant Jason Oft and his crew from Orange County Fire Rescue, part of the agency's specialized strike team, spent nearly 36 hours saving people from their flood-ridden homes. This was where all the water was coming in. Six months later. When you think back to that day, what comes to mind? Um, it was definitely uh, uh, an experience that I've never encountered in that depth in the department. For Oft and his team, desperation began long before dawn. As soon as we came around the corner, like I was telling you, you can see all the flashes of the cars under, under the water. Yeah. Um, we started checking them and people were just screaming. Yeah, yeah, you know, we're over here, we're over here, and all you'd see was flashlights like trying to signal us that they were there. And we're like, don't worry, we're coming. Did it get to a point where you guys were scared? When we had come down, and came around this corner. Uh -huh. We were coming down trying to get to these vehicles. I started floating Oh, um, really? because the water was so high. Images we captured show the stunning then versus now. In this low-lying neighborhood adjacent to a retention pond, some residents blame the county for not properly preparing the community for Ian. We was like a big ocean. A uh, ocean had just came and covered the whole neighborhood. Laverska Williams is still angry. I didn't expect this. I did not expect this. I don't want to tear up. Her home still work in progress. The whole house had to be gutted out. No Everything kidding. in my house had to be totally gutted out, gone. No refrigerator, nothing, no clothes, no shoes, anything. It's just like starting over from scratch. While cleaning up and rebuilding still remains much of the picture here, Six months after these devastating floods, you could say there's reason to have new hope here on Hope Circle. That's because the county is moving forward with a flood mitigation project. The goal, stop flooding here. Another pipe, a new pump station, and reshaping this retention pond to add another 10 feet are all part of the plan. I'm doing a little bit. It's coming. But Williams and some other residents will believe it when they see it. It should have started when Irma came through. We're just kind of uh, hanging and hoping and everything for this year. That's all we can do. As this neighborhood continues to dry out, start over, and heal. I don't think we'll ever get over it. I don't think it's something that you will ever get over. According to county leaders, that flood project should take about 15 months to complete, so it should be done by next summer raising concerns among residents here about getting through this coming hurricane season. I'm Katie Legrone reporting.